Hi, everybody. This is Ray. This is Life and Vibe. And whatever Miriam or Chantel or Foodie Beauty or whatever her current name is released a live stream with extremely low energy this morning. And it was simply called Good Morning. So before we get into her live stream, I just wanted to put out a couple of my disclaimers. Obviously, just a quick fair use statement. Obviously, just the fact that we're here to do a little bit of entertainment, a little bit of roasting. It's all just in good fun when we take a look at Foodie's live stream. Though Foodie, as we know, or Merriam, let me correct myself, has a tendency to say some really problematic things when she is talking. So uh, I might have to joke her along a little bit. But just anybody who might be sensitive to that type of content, I do always want to put out a trigger warning for this individual because she does have a tendency to roam around into topics that can potentially cause some people to feel a little bit triggered. And so I just always give you caution when you enter the world of Miriam. Even though she tries to give a sense of being a very devout and kind individual, that is just a facade. That is not really who she is. And in reality, the glitching filters that you're about to see on this video, I think tell more of a tale of really who she is. It's almost got like, if you ever saw a film a long, long time ago called Sleepwalkers, it was like a horror film that involved cats. She kind of has that facial glitch going on. So anyway, let's just get into this. I don't usually like to say anything derogatory, but the filters were going a little bit wild. So just kind of pay attention to the eyebrow because it's going to be it's going to be uh, twitching quite a lot during this video. Anyway, if you do like this type of content and you like the perspective of a registered nurse who's a little bit salty and doesn't mind letting people know when somebody is potentially a medical scammer and a con artist, then uh, please like and subscribe to this material. Everything I obviously say is just my opinion. It's just here for a little bit of laugh. And as always, Chantel does provide us with a lot of laughs. I am going to speed her up to 1.5 because she is extremely slow at talking. And I am also going to apologize for her sound quality. Though Chantel, or sorry, <clears throat> Miriam has been a YouTube creator for around seven years now. She is a terrible creator. She has no decent equipment whatsoever. So don't anticipate that you're going to actually be able to hear her. So that's not my recording, people. That's that that's our friend Miss Chantel. So let me just bring her up. Let's get started. Let's see what pearls of wisdom and information about Kuwait we can learn from from Miss Chantel this morning. I'm sorry, Miriam. I keep forgetting. I'm sorry. Start when you're still or what? Leave that cat alone. That cat doesn't like you. She wants to be back home with her other cat pals on the streets of Kuwait. I always say she's a hostage. That's a hostage situation in there. The hostage situation. Let the cat out. Get the cat out of there. Hostage. I'm Darren. You are always first. Hello, Ghostface Weezer. Ghostface Gamer Lulu. I'm a scene and say foodie beauty. Cat has Stockholm <laughs> syndrome. Tiny Chicky, hello, Anna G. Clarissa. The fish. This is her toy. Okay, the sun is going to rise at some point, or should I turn the light on? I don't feel like it. Julia? Um, can I just ask kind of what's going on with that side of your face that looks extremely swollen? The face is very swollen. I, 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 there's no hiding it. I know that there's no ever mention of it and that you don't ever want to answer those questions, but there's, some, there's, there's definitely distinct swelling going on on that side of the face. Wonderful. 
you can see by Nellie, stupid eyes, I could have been first. <laughs> but I get paid. Hi, Tangerine, your face, yay, yes. Good morning, Comic Brook. Hello, TN, EL, good morning. Chantel's skinny arm. <laughs> this is my skinny arm. This is my fatter arm. Like, my arms are not the same size. Weird. <laughs> Uh, the word skinny is not a word that ever comes to mind with you, Chantal. Or oh, Mary, I'm sorry. It's just not a word. And why are your arms two different sizes? That's concerning. Is there something happening on one side of the arm than the other? I mean, as a medical professional, I would be highly concerned if my arms were two different sizes. That's not normal. But then nothing about you is normal. Hello, Heather. It's still Sunday in Vancouver, I know, Sophie. <laughs> it's 5.27 here. Do you want to close the Leave the cat alone. What? Hostage what? situation. Oh. Put the cat down. Mm -hmm. Put the cat down. She just had her smelly breakfast. The store. Try to stop trying to pretend that you're some sort of particularly decent pet owner. You're not, girl. We all know you're not a good pet owner. You're an animal abuser. Stop the madness. We get her food from the run out of butchers. So I'm giving her some other brand, but she loves, loves this one more. It has like chunks of meat. No, Mary, don't watch the Super Bowl. You guys can watch me instead. Really, you're comparing yourself to the Super Bowl? The only thing you are super at is being a hot mess girl. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Chris, if I am, you'll never know. They're SBDs. Um, no, I didn't stay up all night. I got up at like, I set my alarm so I could pray Fadger, so that's why I'm dressed like this. I actually do believe she did get some sleep because she got terrible CPAP marks on her face. The, her cheeks are red as those tomatoes that she always eats for breakfast. So I just prayed Fadger. Fadger was at 5.09 and, uh, you know, when you do... I dare you to spell the word Fadger. I, I, I bet you $10 without looking it up on your phone. Just fell off the top of your head, girl. We will do. It was like the water was cold for some reason. I forgot to turn on the hot water tank. Well, that's because you got diabetes and you're and you're probably losing your memory. So I had to do will do with cold water. So yeah, <laughs> I didn't have coffee. I haven't had anything yet. I'm gonna get something soon. So I wouldn't advise coffee for diabetics who are unmanaged like you. Probably not a good plan. So um, yeah, no, no, you don't need that. Keep away. Coffee, not good. Talking about coffee. So on Sunday right there, God is my vaccine. Hi, Danielle. She's so cute. Thank you. Hi, Sylvia. She's a boy, but hello. Hi, Eva. What do we do? Get rid of the Foodie Beauty subscription and add this one? No. Oh, yeah. We're going to hear a lot about Foodie Beauty and her subscriptions. I'm sorry, Mariam. I just can't get used to it. Yeah, there's going to be lots of talk about the subscription. Just wait for it, guys. Because, uh, you know, Hothead over here just decided to switch over her account because she got all virtuous suddenly one day. And after a supposed year of a fake marriage to a man she pretends is in the home, she is now going to try to understand that there's something going on with the YouTube memberships. And she didn't think that through before she just switched over her account and her name and her handle. Oh, you don't have to do anything, Ava. I think it just transfers automatically. Just the name change, you know? Even if I wanted to change my name back right now, um, I can't. I have to wait like 14 days. She's still with the husband. Yes, I am. Watch the eyebrow. Watch the eyebrow on the side of the swollen cheek. Because that thing is glitching. At one point, I swear, her whole face like glitches. Just keep an eye. Keep an eye. It's coming up soon. Clarissa. Hi, Jenna. <laughs> that camera can't Hi. take it. Do you see it? Do you see it? The camera can't take it. The camera is waving. In and out is trying to deal with that swollen cheek of yours, girl. Cannot deal with that swollen cheek. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't want anyone just I the, the thing is I just want you to be the focus of this video. And that's why I'm having you all like this. You get to, to have the whole screen to yourself, Miriam. Because I want everyone to see what just how how healthy you're looking at five something. You're looking perky this morning, girl. Perky. Thanks for the diamonds. Uh, what's up with that? Look at that camera. With the little dot on her face. I know the little white one. Hi, Megasaurus. Uh -oh. Hello, Salam alaikum. Welcome, Salam, Rebecca. Yeah, I think it's uh, it doesn't change much, Ava. Cute pattern. <laughs> I got it on Amazon. <laughs> uh, 
Ugh, fish, I don't care about the Super Bowl at all. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Can you see it? Can you see that pull that pull filter? It doesn't know what to do. It's just zooming in and out and in and out. I mean, I'm almost getting a headache trying to look at this thing. What is going on there? What is going on with that? I don't use filters. I wouldn't, you know. Oh my goodness, that thing is having a struggle. Oh, you need if you were gonna do stuff like this, upgrade your equipment, please. This is this is a pathetic. It's really pathetic. Super Bowl, yes. <sighs> Cold water does. It's very good for you, really, yeah. Rebecca. Z, um, it's the only coffee I have here. Actually, I think I have some Arabic coffee. I have like. I keep telling you, you're diabetic. That's what you told everybody. We've seen the raging blood sugars. Why are you drinking coffee? It's generally not advised. Not for somebody in your situation. You don't manage your diabetes. You don't get to have things like coffee. Keep away. It's not good. Pre-made packets, like three in one. So they're not very healthy, but um, in my tea, I put condensed milk and honey. It is 5.30 here. The sun should be coming out soon, hopefully. But we can watch the sunrise together on the beach. I'm not going down. Oh, I'm starting to get a bit of pain. I'm not going down to the beach today, yeah. but. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. We got to play that pain out. We got to play out that pain. It's that piriformis girl, because you're sitting on your tush over here. So, you know. Oh, you got the sitting. You got the sitting inflammation going on. You got sitting syndrome, sitting on your tush syndrome. Stop milking your audience for sympathy. Sad, pathetic. It's nine thirty Sunday night. Wow, Ashley's world. Will you ever go back to Canada? I don't think. Probably to visit. Yes, I'd imagine. I would love to go for like the fall. I miss the fall in Canada. And February is going to be. Pretty much the last really nice month for weather here in Kuwait. Um, after that, it's going to start getting boiling. Yeah. And another name change. I don't plan on it. Yeah, somebody as heavy as yourself probably doesn't enjoy hot weather, especially when you're not taking very good care of your skin, I'm sure, or any of your other medical ailments that you have, young lady. So, yeah, I'm sure some are not a fun time for you, foodie. Oh, sorry, Miriam. I, I can't keep up with your multiple mate name changes. It, but I mean, it does seem to affect like people searching for me for some reason. I don't know. So we'll see. Hello, relaxation. Oh, oh, what's that? What's for breakfast? Oh, what's that? People are, are not being able to find you. Is that what I just heard? That uh, ever since you've had your name change, people are having a difficult fi time finding you. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, well, maybe you shouldn't be such an impetuous child. Who just does things in a rage you know when you're petulant and you're impetuous you end up paying the piper girl and i think you're just realizing that uh in this situation oh and your your pieces aren't happy i wouldn't be either mind you look at that look at that mm, imagine waking up to that face in the morning gentlemen I don't know. Maybe How much money would you have to be I to paid to wake up to that? I might just wait till, till someone can have breakfast with me. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, well then you're going to be waiting about breakfast. a century, girl, because I don't think Salau is ever going to want to eat breakfast to you. Because if that's the face that he has to wake up and take a look at in the morning, then I'm sure he's scarpering out if he's even in the building. And you say 14 different stories about what he's up to all the time. Because you just have to try to cover for the fact he's not in that house, girl. He don't want to be near you. Let's be honest. You're eating your feelings. We know you are. Those meals that look like meals for 14, you're eating those alone. And you're not sharing one with Salau. We have no proof that he's in there. I know he, you'll say he won't be on camera, but it doesn't even seem like there's another individual in the house. And, the, and when you're staring around at other places... Those are the floaters that you're getting due to the diabetic retinopathy in your eyes. Well, for in the sun, I don't. <laughs> I'm with my husband pretty much all day, every day. Uh, no, that's not true at all, because from the looks of the mukbangs you've been putting out, from the hours of live streaming, the boring gaming, the terrible true crime stories, the inappropriate giggling, and just the general nonsense and garbage content you put out, Mariam, 
there's a good chance I do not think, and most other people do not think, that Salau in that apartment with you. No way. No way, girl. He's out with another woman. Smoking shisha and playing cards. And my pets, and I call to my family. My beloved prophet, Salah, Salah, Alayhim wa Salam. I always say, peace be upon him, Rebecca, because I haven't learned how to say that. I can say, like, for Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, but... <laughs> Well, no, well, that's terrible you've been in that country for well over a year now and you can't even say a basic phrase what the nonsense is that girl it's, you know you've got nothing else to do all day you sit on your tush and you eat and you mold off a couch i mean that does not make a day that's why you cannot produce vlogs you got nothing to show anybody look at you Look at you. <sighs> because of how we look well for making wudu. Yes, for sure. Yeah, I always make that intention before I do wudu as well. I've heard only too much about Taylor Swift. Basically, nothing about the Super Bowl and Black. Yeah. I don't care at all. Hello, Marianne, Marianne Ann Bays. Why would anybody think you would care about the Super Bowl, Chantel? Sorry, Mariam. <laughs> You're a Canadian. I would just laugh if somebody asked me that question. God, you take everything so seriously, too. Good Lord, lighten up, girl. I'm going to fly PT. Ugh. I'll have to look for that. Yeah. Uh, what's up? Yeah, whatever. What's your favorite show? I like watching plane crash videos. Is that really <laughs> what you just plans. said? Um, Did you, is that really what you just said? Well, I like to watch train wreck videos. Just like you like to watch plane crash videos. And you're sitting there giggling about it. You really are something off, aren't you? Something off with you, sweetheart. There's not some. There's something that's just genuinely not right with you. Who would say that? And then laugh. You really are got something wrong with you. You got a screw loose, as we say in the UK. It's not even funny. You're just weird. Ugh. I don't know. My favorite show. I don't really watch shows like. Oh, no. Well, no, you don't have time to watch shows, do you, Chantel? Because all you do all day is scroll through your phone looking to hear what we're saying about you. And I promise you, not any of it is positive. I, you'd be hard-pressed to find anything of any content anywhere that says anything positive about who you are as a person. Good luck. Show it to me. Post it down below in my comment section. You know, you can put the link down below. I'd be curious to see it. Because I don't think it exists. I think a probably unsolved mystery as I watch reruns of that in forensic files. French vanilla creamer for coffee. Um mm. corny Super Bowl. Oh, picking my nose. Um glitching glitching yeah. filters. Horrendous human being. It's next it's still JV Doe, yeah, it's still the sun hasn't risen yet. <laughs> so by all I know, right? Hi, Jasmine. Hi, Gabriel. I'm doing all right. How are you? I'm in not much pain right now, actually, which is nice. Oh, really? Oh, oh, really? <laughs> how How is it that you, you just aren't in so much pain now, Chantel? Or Miriam, whatever your bloody name is. Do pray tell. How is it that you've managed to miraculously put this pain at such great, you know, out the way so damn quickly? Have you managed to give it such great ease, I think is the words I was looking for. How are you giving it such great ease? Last week you were, you know, literally saying you needed to be wheelchaired in and out of a clinic. Now you're going for these, these miraculous B12 injections, which a lot of people have commented as a medication, or I should say a vitamin. It Often it would be prescribed, so... It is a drug of some sort, but it's a supplement, it's a vitamin, would be thought to be for neuropathy. And we have all wondered if you've had neuropathy and stubbed the toe, and maybe something's also going on with that toe that you stubbed, but you don't want to talk about anything that would actually be a result of you not managing your diabetes, because that would actually be admitting to your public that you're a hot mess express girl. So you're just going to continue the charade. So, all right, 
well, let's listen to you trying to milk your audience out, you con artist. Keep going. Let's let's continue the con. No, thank goodness. At least not as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> what time is it there? Corduroy pantyhose. Oh, corduroy pantyhose. Oh, so, so, hold on, hold on. 32. Were you just seeing those floaters? Is that why you just had that quick flash around the eyes? Is that the floaters? Someone took the old handle. I don't care. I didn't like that one anyway. I have, I have a lot of handles combinations I can use if I really wanted to. Why would you? Oh, girl, you are so upset that somebody took your handle. You are running out of handles now. And everybody knows you as Foodie Beauty. So once this documentary comes out for Mr. Snowflake, and you cannot take any of the people who would go to your channel who would just subscribe because there's people who always like to be reactionary and say, oh, I'm going to subscribe to this person just because somebody put some stuff out about them. Even if you are a horrendous human being like yourself, Miriam, whatever name you want to go under to try to hide under the radar, but you still want to try to get people to your channel because you still want to get that coin and you still want to get those views but you're having a tough time now and we're all enjoying it so you already lost at foodie beauty because the last time your rage changed your handle somebody scooped that one up and now somebody has at foodie b and that has got the name woof woof is the channel title and you are bothered so just let that sink in and you won't be able to do at foodie because i'm sure somebody would have that so you would have to be at foodie booty 357 or whatever the heck handle might exist on that now so good luck with that yeah you're just going to be at every day or at ever Ever day, Miriam? Isn't that right? Because I understand that you couldn't even spell that correctly because you were so ragey when you actually decided to put your handle up <laughs> that you uh, spelled that wrong. So it's at uh, ever or something, Miriam, something, something like that. You don't even have your handle right, girl. Sad. You're sad. You're so sad. Don't you take a handle of someone you can never be? That's so stupid. Uh, it's a sign. Yeah, all day, every day. Uh, I don't like to use that word stupid, but that's what I would describe when you rage changed your channel name and then could not even spell the handle correctly. So your name of your channel and the how your handle is spelled are completely different. So <laughs> and I thought you were an English major, girl. Hmm. Somebody says, uh, you didn't graduate from college. And I think the proof is in the pudding. Okay, relaxation world. I know I haven't been perfect with the boycott so far. Actually, right now, yeah, I have been doing very well. So, Colleen, I can't fix you. I can't give people, um, I tried, I looked into it, I did. You know, I even asked the law, maybe if you could figure it out. But um, I don't know. Like, I don't know if you canceled your membership at one point or it expired, but like, I don't know how to get it back. If anyone knows, let me know. How have you been able to be on YouTube for seven years and not understand how your members are able to get their memberships back? I mean, I'm surprised that anybody would want to even be a member of this just absolute boring bleh that you put out under the sanctimonious that you put out too. You're a just you know, scam scam. But you know what? I'm glad that people are having difficulty. Because I think that's uh, just fate. That's what you deserve from the rage. The rage, girl. This is what the rage gets you. You should always think things through before you just go ahead and do it. Have you tried the berries that make everything you eat sweet? No. Show us morning routine. I might make a tea. I'm kind of hungry. I've been offered to go out. The hunger is the polyphagia. That's a sign of the raging type 2 diabetes that you have polyphagia polydipsia polyuria this means you want to eat a lot and you want to pee a lot 
<laughs> and you want to drink a lot. That's what that means. That's what you've got. Rage. And well, so we, um, I socialize with like the wives of someone's friends if we all hang out together. But No, no, you don't. No, you don't. You're in this apartment every night, girl. I don't think you've seen any of these people since the return to Kuwait. Not one of these individuals has wanted to go anywhere near you. Absolutely nowhere near you. They're not there trying to help you if you've actually got something wrong with you or you're ill. Nobody gives a crap about you out there, girl, because you're a horrible human being. Other than that, like, sorry to cut. Really, she's just, just a terrible to, human. Like, she's trying to grift out here. Hello, Brush your teeth before you go There's live. A woman in the comments with all sorts of different work. Yeah, well, like, I tried to educate them in a nice way, but a little bit of sarcasm. It's true. Like, yeah, there's so many other kinds of sausages, you know. I don't know. Halal sausage. Especially sausage from like the Middle East, you know? Coffee and tea with cocoa. No, not cookies. I don't know what I can make. I'm not that hungry. Maybe I'll get a water and an orange. The music is so creepy. Hi, Catherine. SB, I have not cooked breakfast yet. The Traders is really good. Oh, is it on Netflix? <sighs> Well, you had to go live quick, girl, because you realized you didn't produce really any content yesterday or any real content because, you yeah, obviously, I don't think you're feeling good. So there was no bunk bang yesterday because you ate yourself ridiculous with all those cobs for the past three days and your live streams are boring. So, and you weren't feeling good. When you don't feel good, you can't make content. So you didn't make anything. But this morning, you're coming out here and instead of you actually live streaming, cooking a breakfast, and maybe producing some interesting content, no, no, you're just here squirming in a chair with your filters kind of coming in and out of your face and uh, lying to your audience, basically. So you could have actually maybe produced interesting content and cooked breakfast. But there's a reason why you're not letting people see you stand. Because something up with that foot, I know there is. Tell something up. Hello, misbehaving. Have you celebrated King Cobra Gifts as ending his rice bill? I don't care about that. <laughs> Similar. Good for him, I guess. He's Sophie. Good morning. Hello. He's not married, so now I only support um, intimate relations in a marriage. <laughs> Can't, I know that's coming from me, from my past. I know. But that's how I feel. Uh. Well, you know what? I'm so glad because we know you're not getting any. Oh. Caddy Pickles, hello. No, I have not, never, I have never not paid. That's so weird. Maybe, you know what? I'll message on YouTube about it, Colleen. Leave me a, 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 DM, a message on this video after on this live stream and to remind me and I'll message them and ask. Maybe they can do something. Everyone's watching. Yeah, probably both face. It's not for the entire world. Yeah. All the rest of the world doesn't care about it at all. Yeah, there's like a I promise you, this is not my filming, uh, the reason why this camera keeps going in and out. This is this poor camera uh, filter trying to struggle with trying to, to contain whatever it's looking at. It's struggling. It's, it's having a hard morning. Doesn't want to take care. It doesn't want to do anything with Chantel's face. Sorry, Miriam's face. It's struggling. So that's not my, it's not me. Okay, the, 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 the lousy sound quality and the lousy camera work is all all Miriam's work okay it's whatever Miriam because she don't care about the quality she's just she needs that coin so she's got to put out content everybody isn't there like another like um soccer or football cup going on right now I think most of the like this parts of the world care more about like football as in soccer I don't know what they do or know anything just don't say anything the spirit box from behind Hey, hey Thunderstorm, just, just letting you know, I'm very sure Julia is long hair tortie, British long hair cat, a very expensive breed. Really? She was free. Where is she? Uh oh, here we go, here we go. Turn around on that chair. Not for food, and then she buggers off. Ew. Oh. <laughs> I love this toy, you want? Yeah. This is the content you have? This is your content? Squinting, squinting. She can't barely read those comments, you see? She, she's coming up close to the camera to squint. It was painful, but I took my time. But the thing that's the most painful is bending down. So, 
Well, that's painful because you've got a big old tum tum in your way. And you, you can't, oh, she looks like she's on the cross. But uh, yeah, that's what, that's why that painful girl. And you, and you have no, you're not limber. Why in there? And you probably pulled something when you were up on those monkey bars doing all that nonsense, thinking you were trying to show us all that you could do all these steps and those little sketcher shoes that you were hobbling around in as you were dragging that ulcerated foot or stub toe or whatever the heck is going on. God, I would not want to be your body. You're a mess. I'm just saying this as an assessment of you. I don't even care anymore. You're a hot mess, girl. I put all of her food, like, up on this black table here instead of on oh, the ground. Oh, great. I yeah, that's great. Food. I don't know. I don't have cats anymore, but when I did have cats, I did not try to train them to get up on counters to eat. I just never thought that was a good plan. I usually just try to get them what they needed to eat, let them eat it, and then I took it away. Otherwise, you just have animals that uh, that have no control over food. Oh, oh, well, that's oh, oh, sorry. Huh. Let me back up a bit. The owner is absolutely uncontrollable food too. So why would I expect her to have any idea of how to actually give the animal a controlled amount of food? Huh. Sorry. Oh, sorry. I thought I was dealing with a logical person here. No, I'm dealing with this 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 person. So I can easily get to them and not have to bend. Bend. Oh, she does look a bit British, like Persian, though, eh? <laughs> How can we not tell us about your time spent with the other wives? Yeah, I have, Zoe. I have told, like, on our couple's channel when we went camping, I talked a bit about that. Um, like, when we go camping mostly, like, I, I get invited to go hang out, like, whenever Salah goes to Diawanina um, to hang out with the wives and that. Mostly I've been declining because of how I'm feeling, and I don't know how I'll feel, like, how long I can sit. And he can stay there, like, sometimes for hours playing cards and things like that, smoking shisha. <laughs> so, so which is it, Chantel? Sorry, Marion. That it is more comfortable for you to sit? Or is it more comfortable for you to stand? Or is it just more comfortable for you to lie? Because it cannot just be all three. You, you make no sense, which I'm not shocked because you're a scammer. And these wives to have probably politely invited you. I doubt they've invited you since this year. I, I have a funny feeling for, for 2024, they have not invited you. They want nothing to do with you. Ever since that whole incident that came out online with Kybella, nobody wants anything to do with you. You are trouble for them. They see you as trouble. They know you're trouble. They don't want you around. So you are just full bold place lying there is no way that anybody finds your company pleasant to be around you are so uneducated you are so unworldly you are such a racist homophobic animal abusing just problematic toxic individual there is no way on this green earth that anybody is requesting to spend any amount of time with you that girl is a bold face, honest face, lie. But mostly, um, like let's say we go camping. Um, there's like a kitchen, little kitchen in the camping area. So the women will, the men will like barbecue and stuff and do their own thing. The women will hang out in their own tent because we can like uncover if we're in our own tent. Usually the, the kids will be there with us and they're so cute anyway. So I love spending time with them. Um, they, let, they taught me how to like do devka one time. It was really fun, you know, just chit chat, make tea, stuff like that. Oh yeah. It's on Peapock. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Hello, Blue Pot. More. Yeah, he uh he went back to bed. So to me, it's a human crisis. Well, it's actually. <laughs> Girl, you know that bold face lie. You know Salah not there and went back to bed. He was so naughty. He's not there. He don't want to be anywhere near you. <laughs> We don't think he's in there. We never. There's no. There's no sign of a, another person in your home, whatsoever. I should know. I live alone. <laughs> yeah, I will. Okay, don't worry. Oh God, that poor camera. Jordan probably won, but Qatar. Yeah, it was in Qatar, huh? Jordan was in second place. Who won? Oh, Qatar won. Hi, Jewel. 
Oh, if you're on is through. Oh, hi, Fernanda. Sorry, I'm behind on the chat. Ageless Beauty, hello. No, 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 it's not about multiple wives. Ageless Beauty, it's um, the wives of his friends. Traditions and it's not my picture, but yeah. I think it's uh, somebody wanted to know if I'm sell out had multiple wives. <laughs> you know that Chantel would have a full-on aneurysm if, if Salah had the wives. <laughs> I was going to do a video comparing like certain things about like Canada and here. Well, you can't do a video comparing anything, Chantel, because that would actually take work and research. And those are two things that you are totally averse to doing, work and research. Don't just, whatever, move on for that, whatever, Miriam. Stop lying. <laughs> just to show you guys, I'm just trying to be quiet. Like, I don't want to wake up. So <laughs> oh, gosh. No, you're trying to play a role that you're this, like, demure and, like, devout Muslim reaver woman. That's that's why you're trying to be quiet, because you're trying to be the opposite of what you had been in your previous videos. Not now to do with somebody else in the room or in the house, sweetheart. Good Lord. You just stick at that face. That's a face of a bold faced liar right there. Ha ha ha. She's just laughing away because she just knows she's trying to get away with a con. Oh, it's, almost, uh, it's, it's comical to watch her in action, actually. It's comical because she's, she's a very comical person. But she's a very manipulative person that is using all these people listening to her in this audience. But I'm just thinking that this con's been going for about seven years now, and the con can only last so long. And now she's trying to switch herself to being this motivational and lifestyle coach. But no, nah, no, nah, that's not what you are, girl. You're just a grifter. He doesn't know I'm live, but I'm not beaten. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm not beaten or anything, so it's fine. There's a language barrier between them. They don't speak very much English at all, so we use Google Translate. Um, excuse me. What country are you currently living in? Is it Canada? Where one of the two languages spoken is English and the other French? Are you in Kuwait? Where Arabic is the predominant language spoken? Which one are you in? Hmm, let me think. Well, you're always barking on about bloody Kuwait. So I guess it's that, hey? So uh, if that's the case then, sweetheart, uh, why is it their responsibility to be speaking the language that you speak? And why aren't you, after having been a year living there, actually learning the language so that you could communicate with his, their wives? No wonder they don't want to hang out with you. A liar. Who want to hang out with you? I'm looking at your face, girl. I'm only doing this because I want to call you out as a medical scammer. You're my first medical scam story. You're my first medical scammer story. And you're a scammer. I've gone camping maybe four, four or five times. Um, no, maybe four times or something like this. Can't it's keep your like story like straight, can you? Feel like filming or you know, because it kind of like takes away from socializing with people in a way. So I wanted to get a few videos of camping for you guys. But other than that, I think I did two videos camping and then I thought I'm just going to enjoy. No, it's going to show what you really look like. Dare the filters melt work. Camping without the camera, you know. I miss when you guys smoke and laugh. Do you miss a lot? <laughs> Taylor Swift also fell off the stage. Oh, yikes. No, wasn't that staged? I haven't met any new people right now. They believe that Persian cat was imported from Iran. Yeah, that's Persia, Persian, right? It's a Shirazi, so technically she would be from Shiraz, which is in Iran. The other You're holding that poor cat hostage. Let her back with her family. Stop being a cat thief. Cat thief. Cat thief. Cat thief. Chantel is a cat thief. Wives are the wives of Salah's friends. <laughs> Richard. Uh... I'm not going to mention. Can you say a prayer for King Cobra? Um, no. <laughs> Does that mean? Not sure. Hello, Lois. I'm sure it probably was mean, Chantel. Mariam. I don't even know. Whatever. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to call you whatever. Because I can't think of what your name is all the time. So you're just whatever for me now. <sighs> I don't even know what I was going to say. Whatever. 
I missed a couple of vlogs, the Matt Wax Museum. That was so fun, Richard. I really want to go back and do something like that. Oh, really? Please cook something. Well, nobody wants to see that content. Though it probably was some of the content that got your highest views initially. But, you know, after the other stuff, you probably had to, to scrub off of YouTube. So, I mean, your content videos are, you know, getting slimmer and slimmer. So your residuals on content is getting less and less. Or is it that you just private it to your members? Hmm. That's what we're thinking. You just private stuff. And then when you feel that your name has been cleared or the public is not focused on your bad behaviors any longer, you can then take it off of member only and you can have it out to the general public again. It's very easy to do that on YouTube. It's just part of the con, isn't it? All right. Keep calling. Keep calling. Mary, I want to go to the Grand Mosque. It's so big that I feel like I need to be have a bit more stamina. So once I do, I will definitely <laughs> Well, I guess we're never going to get a visit to the Grand Mosque because she's never going to get the stamina enough to do that, ever. <laughs> Not the her raging diabetes unmanaged and that probably definitely neglected feet. This woman never does a foot check. <laughs> uh, I don't want to be mean, but this person is you know, just, there's no, there's no helping this person. And so the only thing that I can do is try to help other people from being scammed by them because there's, there's just really no help for this type of individual, sadly. There really isn't. They're never going to be compliant to anything. So it's just, you know, it's, it's kind of a lost cause really. So we might as well just laugh at the train wreck. Can you guys there? I want to go. My neighbor is a Muslim man who married a transgender woman who has done all the surgeries that completely look like you got breathing issues. I have no idea where it's are. I don't know. I really don't know don't. anything. So I'm not sure. Have you ever brought your cat camping? <gasps> cat would run Just for you. her life. Can you guys hear me? I punch your rocks. Why not, June? So yeah, they're, they're all going to be switching off after the half time show, girl. Okay. Uh, what was I going to say? I think what you were trying to say was something like fun and small in Arabic. No, Chantal, está tratando a decir algo en el idioma del país, pero no puedes. Ay, qué horror. ¿Cuántos años hay vivido ahí? Basically saying in Spanish, she can't say anything in the native language of the place she's been living, just to sound like she's got half a brain cell in there. Well, I didn't say half brain cell in the Spanish bowl, but I'm saying it in English. I was going to uh, use a word. Maybe tamam? I can use a word. All right. I'll use a word in Spanish. Pendeja. Mashi. Um, Mumpkin, maybe. Mumpkin, Fiona. <laughs> Good streaming you're doing. Thank you. Um, what am I doing currently? Oh, boy. Did somebody actually say she's doing good streaming? There must be. I'm not even going to say anything. It depends on what I can get done. I always have a plan. I use my agenda and then. You don't have a plan for nothing. The plan. Okay. Uh, I lied. Hold on. Hold on. Let me, let me track this back a little bit. Sorry. Sorry. I lied. I lied. She does have a plan. If she can get the energy. She'll order for a mukbang. She'll. Curb load the bejesus out of herself, and then she'll roll over and hope that she can get some sort of stream of a terrible gameplay where she'll splash beginner, you know, big so that people know that she don't know what she's doing. And then she'll, you know, have the camera off because she doesn't want people to actually just kind of want to see her just like lying there the way she does. <laughs> and then that will be it. That will be that's 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 your agenda for you. So there you go. I helped you out there. There you go. You're welcome. That was free. Brandon, not feeling good or something disastrous happens. Oh, not feeling good. Oh, wonder why that is. Hmm. Let me think about it. Mm, I've watched three days of a raging, uncontrolled, unmanaged type two diabetic who's unable to do any type of physical activity, who literally lives inside of a 500 square foot space in Kuwait. 
Hmm. Let me see. Ah, oh, I guess that's maybe why you're not feeling good. I wonder what disaster could come from that. Um, I'd like to clean my kitchen. Like, I'm taking it room by room. We haven't gotten a maid, but you haven't got the maid. Are you back to that again? And why don't you use better language like housekeeper or cleaner or something more appropriate? God, you, just, you think you're like the lady of the manor. No, you're just a fat so-and-so who can't do her own chores. And I'm sorry I use the F word, people. You know I'm usually very kind. But that's what you are. Or I should say a morbidly obese individual who sits on a tush and doesn't care to do anything. And I apologize for using the F word. It just makes me very, very irritated. Carry on, Chantel. Or Marion, whatever your damn name is. I'm looking like a seal, you know? So I have to... I have... Girl. <laughs> That's exactly what you will look like. You will be lying there on that couch looking like a seal. You described yourself better than anybody else can. And she's going to be, you know, she's going to be thinking in her mind that you're just, you know, lazy. You know it. And you are. And so you don't really like to think, have to have a moment of reflection. Because that would actually require you taking accountability for who you are as an individual. And God, that's never going to happen try to slowly start moving my body in like a way that I can clean so I've done oh for god's sake just you're full of it you have personally done this to you yourself this is you you do this to you this is you this is all you foodie it's all you it's all you go nobody's put you in this situation but you <laughs> get more whatever for cleaning. And you don't look like you've got much of a space to clean anyway. Yeah, oh, Jesus, you can't roll around on that chair with a duster. Yeah. Really good thing here. Like like... And uh... bending is the worst thing. Well, girl, if you can't keep the space the size of a postage stamp clean, then you there's no hope for you. Well, there's no hope for you anyway. But there really isn't hope for you. Yeah, look at that smugness on that face. Smug, smug. You're very smug. I don't know what you're smug for. You've got nothing to be smug about. You've nothing to be smug about. People can't find your channel. Your memberships are getting cancelled. Why smug? All right, let's hurry up. So what I'm going to do is, and standing and doing the dishes for too long, pulls on my leg. So my dishes, I have two pods left to do. I've been doing it slowly, and I'm going to try to cook today. Why would you have dishes? You eat takeout all the time. I haven't really cooked a proper meal for us, so I'm going to try to do that. Us. Oh, who's that? Us, you and the cat, you and the hamster? Cook a proper meal. If it means the cock is chicken or cooking a tub cat size chicken pot pie, nobody wants it. Except for you, girl. Just you. So we know you're eating alone. I have to go to the clinic um, to get an injection and a vitamin injection. And uh, what else do we have to do? I don't know. Not much else. Uh, what a shocker. Not much else. The vitamin injection. Is that for the neuropathy? No basketball check. Tickets to your local flea market or my online live chat. Really close face. You're getting hot coffee. I'm not good at oh you mean Arabic language. Hi Ariel G. You could teach me Arabic this week. Hi honey bun. Birthday dad. Miss Musso, do you sure? She don't want to learn Arabic. Because that would actually mean her having to put her brain into some sort of action. That's a big no-no for this girl. A bio when you can wear anything that covers is more comfortable with talk. This is just a prayer gown. I just wear it to pray. And it's very oh. Oh, okay. Bias can be hot, yeah, depending. But I like it because it gives you full coverage. I don't have to worry about covering my friggin' belly or uh, fupa or butt or anything. It just, you just put it on and there. Why does it matter? Where are you going? Oh, clinic. 
Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh. Dressing for size. Well, I guess that's appropriate. <laughs> there might be a robbery. Ramadan activity. Oh, 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 focus more on prayer and um, I don't know, probably just gatherings and stuff like that. Friends, family. You know, have people over for dinners. Try the car. <laughs> My apartment's not that bad, but like since experiencing what I went through in the villa when I was at my worst depressed ever, I, I, go through dep I would go through like depressed moments, okay? And I was like, I vowed to myself, I'm like, this love does not, would not be. See, Pete and I, we kind of enabled each uh, Can you just vouch maybe not to trauma dump your audience, please? That would be a nice thing to vouch for. And I would vouch that your audience would probably be in support of that. Stop the trauma dump. Okay, carry on. Whatever each other with that like being messy because we were both depressed and we up the nose. it was messy but it's a lot here so <laughs> I'm, I'm thankful for that because you know he doesn't like it cross or anything if i don't keep it tidy but like he doesn't like it so i if there's like anything like you know because he wants that deposit back girl you know that's part of getting the deposit back on the apartment it's like keeping it clean and he knows how messy you are because he's seen the videos he knows that Seen the evidence. Just things start piling up like too many dishes or I haven't vacuumed in a while and there's too many crumbs. Girl, how do you have dishes? You don't eat takeout the whole time. What are, what are you placing in the back of that kitchen over there? Because we know you don't cook. That's a bold face like cook. You're so cool. Melting cheese in the microwave, more like it. Um, I just, I don't like it. So I'm trying to like force myself to, you know. <laughs> what? Girl, what are you doing all day? Oh, Lord, you're a hot mess. Ugh. Maybe Lois. Never reject any offers for help. The clean house can help you heal. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's oh, oh, yeah. I guess the clean house can help me heal. But that would take me effort and mean that I'd actually have to oh, clean my house. Oh, gosh. Why do these people in my chat just make these stupid suggestions to me? Oh. Salah's really good. He does help me a lot, you know, even though, like, in this culture, it's not usual for men to, like, help their wives with help. <laughs> the only thing he clean the girl is the toilet, because we know he likes to be around some, you know what. Home duties, but he's, like, like I said, I think that, and I think that they say that, but whenever your wife is sick, it's different. Like, it's different if the man is all, if the man is always doing the housework. What do you mean you're sick, Chantel? What do you mean you're sick? I thought you just had a little bit of sciatica that was fine the other day. And now you're sick? Do pray tell. What now are you milking your audience from? What, what's going on now, Mariel? What's going on now? I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I'm just saying from this cultural perspective. Um, but he, like, if I can't do something, he'll help me with it, you know? What am I going to cook? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Those cameras, girl, just, just, they are having a struggle. Are you really swollen today? Must be that water weight that everybody talks about. I don't know, what should I have? Um, I was going to say mashed eggs, mashed potatoes. Thank you, girl. I had to be careful when I walk, yeah. Hi, honey, I'm good. Hi, I'm thrilled. Why do you have to be careful when you walk? What's going on? Like you said to say Annika was gone. Oh, these stories. I can't keep them straight. Oh. oh what was that face? Really get very messy. Not very messy. The majority of the time it's usually clothes, like laundry that I just like, you know, don't finish like folding or anything. So it like, gets put in a corner. So, but no, I'm working on it slowly getting the laundry. I have to do laundry. I have a lot to do. Mm, I guess we'll never see the pile of clothes in the corner. And we know it's a probably pretty big pile. She has to wear the this this thing because remember, she dropped that oil from the koshari down the front of the black outfit that she's wearing, and now she's got big old foodie stains on there. So in order to hide the big old foodie stains, she got to put on the little the the new little cover for that. So you know you know because the laundry not getting done. It's just a big old pile of clothes in the corner. And that's not clean. Them's are dirty clothes. 
Chantel is not a fan of a clean house or laundry or just anything that involves being hygienic. Um, I have to wash the floors. Um, this is all cleaned down and vacuumed. Nice carpet. And we'll see. But is the sun coming out or what? It's like looking for the table. Mm. Dietary supplements. My husband does not cook at all. They do have Sephora here, so. I don't miss Canada. Oh, girl, YouTube is Canada because you've got to run free and get high in Canada. You can't run as free in Kuwait. You've already tried to doctor shop the clinics for pain medication, going in there asking for controlled narcotics, literally. Oh, my pain, my pain. Girl, I know when people are trying to, like, basically, like, do the uh, ER shop. Try to see if you can get pain medications. Oh, you can tell when people are trying to talk about that. You just mentioned the word Delauded Girl. My goodness, your eyes light up like chandeliers. Oh, can you say yellow to my big sister? Yella, Nicole. Yella, yella. That's how they do the dub cut thing. Like, yella. I need a disc in my neck and had a radio frequency ablation that burned the nerves. Still have injury, but cannot be able to. Okay. Um, answer me this, girl. How can you be sitting there in that, ch that chair telling all these people that you're in pain sitting in the chair? And then you just managed to do that circle around without necessarily looking in pain with the napkin in your hand. You are such a con artist. Con or test. So I'll not around, girl. You're there alone. He's hoping you will be out on the next visa time. He's not there for you, girl. He don't want to be anywhere near you. You had to pay for somebody to film everything. He's nowhere near you. You have to have food delivered there and ordered. You're completely alone in that apartment. Completely alone. Okay, being a little sweaty. I need that right now. So I don't have toast, Robert. I have pita bread. Oh, Victoria. I'm surprised that pita bread's still there. I see myself spinning in that gown to Stevie Nicks, edge of 17. <laughs> really good look. Hi, Alexis. Thank you. Hope you're well today. Most muscles are very clean and also need to be for prayer. Yeah, they're very big on hygiene. Very big. They don't like any. They also don't like something you're not big on, sweetheart. Eh? Something, something this one's not big on. She's not big on hygiene. Not big on hygiene at all. Hygiene is not her forte. Like, um, yeah, they're very big on hygiene for sure. Which I know you're thinking about my past, but that's something else that just changed. Do you know on repeat on a download? Probably, Mary. Let them do the major stuff when you do light things daily and maintain it during the week. That's a good idea. To speak about Palestine, I've been really disappointed in how the girl world holds up. Yeah, Monet Bailey. I think, yeah. No, girl world, they don't talk about anything important. They only talk about me. They only talk about me and stuff like that. <clears throat> so. We talk about you being a scam artist. That's what we talk about. We talk about the fact that you take innocent people who are vulnerable, who don't understand that you are misleading them when you talk about your health. And you use that journey about your health to scam money and sympathy out of people. That's why we call you out. That's why we focus on you. It's because you're a scammer and you're a con artist and we're trying to get rid of you and get you being able to no longer take advantage of people who don't know better. Some people actually think that they may feel sorry for you. I don't feel sorry for you because I know you don't feel any remorse for other people. And when other, you don't feel remorse for others, I don't have any remorse for you. You're a scam artist. The reason why you don't like us focusing on you is because we're focusing in on your scam. I promise you, I have plenty to talk about when I talk about you, sweetheart, because I understand health. I understand how you don't manage your diabetes. And I understand how you're not going to live very long like this. So come at me. Tell me I don't know anything. But you know we do. That's what you don't like about it. That's what you don't like. That's why I'm sitting here roasting you because you're a hot mess girl and I'm going to keep calling you out until you're gone. 
but yeah, you're welcome, Monet. No, I haven't always been the best group, you know, good person, but no, nobody really is, you know, all the time. And um, Not the way you all go. Not the way you all. People don't go around running over frogs and thinking it's funny. People don't go around killing rabbits and thinking it's amusing. People don't neglect their animals so badly in their care that they either don't survive or they're in such poor health that there needs to be a lot of care given to them in order for them to retain and return to health. There aren't people who are live streaming for hours a nasty, toxic relationship where you're abusing substances, which already shows a lack of stability in your mind. No, you go are a special hot mess individual who takes advantage of other individuals. So you're just a special case of just, just hot messness. And I don't necessarily need all the cuss words, but I can point out where you are just a horrendous human being. And I'm okay doing this. This is my roast content. Your lives, I get to roast you. Your mukbangs, I get to talk to my audience about how you are taking out your pancreas. I repented a lot too, a lot. Who cares? I don't. A lot of things that Sorry. I felt I needed to reform for in my past. And I'm just trying to be like a better person, you know? <laughs> and I just to say... How are you being a better person? How exactly are you being a better person? Hiding away from the potential fallout for what could come out from this upcoming documentary and changing your name to whatever Merriam or whatever your name is, is not taking any culpability or accountability. So you're just the same old nonsense, girl. Stop stop lying. God, it's, 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 almost, it, it's comical. Uh, uh, I tried to get mad, but I'm almost laughing because I just can't believe people get sucked into this person's nonsense. God, or supports this person. If you support this person inherently, you got screws loose, folks. Hi, Mara. It looks better. You'll says it. it looks better. You'll feel better. She's awful. Yeah, I know. Sorry, it's annoying. You're I annoying. To to Starbucks. I actually haven't gone to Starbucks since being back here. Liar. And I used my gift cards and that I was given and that's it. And I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. I'm sure you got a fatty frappuccino drink at about 4,000 calories a cup. Um, but yeah, doing laundry is hard for me in my opinion. Really? Like physically? No, it wasn't recently, Jed, or I haven't been since being back here. Barely in yourself. Just have work outside from home. Or he's off caring for you while you outside. Okay. Miss Misto. Um... Yeah, he's involving himself more in work, so, um, but he doesn't have, like, um, like a nine-to-five schedule, so. No, oh, just... Uh, it's just like any old con artist. You know, they always got kind of scanty details. Oh, he kind of at work. He don't kind of have regular hours, nine-to-five. What work is he doing exactly? Can you describe what exact work? How do you not know what hours your supposed husband? Because a, a moment ago, god dang it, wasn't he there like every day, all day, with you all day, every day? Gosh, the lies continue. <laughs> Girl, you need to keep a note of the, the nonsense you say. Because you 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 double speak. He cares if it's clean even if it hurts you. No, no, no. That's different. Like, that's why, um, like, when I'm in bed and injured, no, he never pressures me to. He's helped me a lot when I was in bed, you know? So I think I think most men, if, if their wives are injured, they will do that, even if it's not, like, cultural. Uh, uh, yeah, that already tells me that you've never uh, been really married to this man and he's not around for you. He's ordering takeout maybe to the house, girl. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> She's living in play fantasy land in her head. That's what's going on here. She's sitting here alone in this apartment because this young man wants nothing to do with this 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 young lady over here. No, wants now to do with her. And so she's now then play fantasizing to all of these beezers listening to her in the audience because they probably, maybe they don't have very exciting romantic lives or their husbands aren't very, you know, romantic at this time in their marriages so she's like literally doing a 
Barbara Windsor, who was a very famous romantic novelist in the UK. She's Barbara Windsoring the bejesus out of this, or whatever the books with Fabio on the front were called. I can't remember. I don't read that garbage. I think it's probably more normal. She probably does. Or she reads. The camel market? What do you mean? She has to squint at the camera. That's why she's so close. Yeah, clean schedule. Yeah, I have well, a stick. Diabetic there. retinopathy. Quincy. Yeah, I feel like you were ruining your life living in Kuwait, not giving yourself a chance to be truly happy with someone who can be grateful. Um, no, I don't feel that way now. You know, like I cut off talking about like our healing together, what happened. But um, like I said, it's kind of brought, brought us closer together. He's more, more loving than ever. And he really, really regrets it uh, uh, uh okay yeah okay well that's already the face of a liar because you kind of your eyes are looking downwards and you know i'm no body language expert that, you know but um just just looks like you're just living in the fantasy and telling a lot of lies you know just from experience just talking from experience um and i love living here like i love kuwait and um so no i don't regret that even if like even if what exactly do you love about the country other than eating your face with food that's maybe less expensive. You know, you can't get out and do anything because you're so immobile, I guess, from whatever mystery disease you have, which probably is connected to diabetes. Let's say I did end up getting divorced. I would not, I don't think I would ever worry about getting married again, honestly, because I would have to get married as a Muslim. I would have to. <laughs> You gotta find the ones who want to take on that task, sweetheart. Do it so I caught on the date. So no, no interest. <laughs> and I'm getting older, so it's almost six a.m. here. My family would never come here. See, I don't think so. Too long of a flight. Too big of a cultural difference. I think. No, they just don't care to see you. Be honest. I don't have any Kuwaiti friends, no more. Of course not. Who'd want to be friends with an antisocial individual like you? Who doesn't try to speak the language? Probably, you know, what fun are you to be around? Exactly, what fun would you be to be around? This is what you have to offer. This. And I do it because I know you're scamming good people. And I don't want people who are diabetics or who have other ailments going to your channel thinking that they can have some empathy with you because you're going through the same. That's what I'm stopping you. You're a con artist. And I want to see the con come to an end. But you'll, you'll just go to another platform and start the con there. So you're just going to, you know, however you can get your con out, girl, you're going to keep the con going. You're a con artist. Yeah, that is good. The weight loss is... I have Sue me. Myself. Good luck. To music, any artist you've been listening to. I try not to listen to too much music. Um... If we like, if we do listen to music, it's usually like in the car. Or I'm just gonna give you a heads up because uh, my friend is the Commonwealth's attorney for the state. Uh, if you want to try to do anything legally against me, it actually have to go through the U.S. Attorney General's office, and they laugh the f out of you. So good luck. Spend your money on that. But I've just saved you some money. All right, girl. Good luck with that. While well, we're playing a game together, but usually our weekends these days. Um. Yeah. Arabic music mostly. I don't have a neurologist yet. A back brace? Maybe. What are you needing a neurologist for? You need a damn endocrinologist, isn't it? God, you need a whole team of specialists, girl. No, of course you don't have anybody. Because you're antisocial. That means you know better. You have no remorse. You're just going to eat yourself to death. That's what you're out to do. Anyway, I'm here for the train wreck of it. I'm, I'm just using you as a as a case study, so I can warn people. That's all you are, a case study. A, massage a roast of Chantel Marie, Bread. Miriam. My baby started primary school last week and picked up time is 2.30, so early. I have to go now and get him. Oh, okay, well, you're still alive when I get back. Maybe, Rebecca. Have fun picking up your little one. The have vanilla extract that's assist in Kuwait. Yes. It usually contains alcohol. I don't know so if their vanilla extract has alcohol or not. Good question. Huh. Yeah, she needs to find that out real fast. She needs well, to get a buzz on. I mean, on the women, the hair versus the women thing. Is there any food they don't sell in Kuwait that surprised you or you miss? A lot of packaged food, like ravioli. They don't have ravioli. Wow. I guess that's probably a good thing. Conversations like around food. Some things they don't have, like that I, that I miss from Canada. You know, they don't have dill pickle. Anything. No dill pickle chips. No. 
Uh, I look exhausted. I am now. <laughs> I'm in pain. Yeah, she's exhausted. Wow. And she just woke up. So it's not great. Isn't that great? Look at that lovely energy that young lady has. Uh, people are telling her she looks exhausted. And I have her sped up to 1.5. So imagine what she's like when she's at normal speed. That was good for you. I never have like ever. This is a prayer gown. So I don't wear it outside. I do feel like getting dressed up after. So. Um, so what are you trying to cover up then? You said you used it to cover you up. I tell you, it's the food stains. She's covering up the food stains. Uh, yeah, Golden, he goes back to bed. He's barely awake when I drag him out of bed for fighter. <laughs> ah, you're so full of it. I like the colors on you today. Thank you, Kelly. <laughs> Thanks, Laura. Uh, he can he can fall asleep. Like last of a call off. He can wake up for like, he usually wakes up early. Like, you know, especially Fadra, he could fall right back to sleep. Um, and then he'll usually wake up one more other time before that and like fully awake, drink water. And then I'll say something to him and two seconds later, he's out snoring. <laughs> the stress of the invasion. That's called acting because he don't want to talk to you. He want nothing to do with you, go. <laughs> In real life. Uh. Yeah, sweaty. Mm, you get used to it. Sort of. Hi, Sufian. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, that filter glitch. Oh my God. It was like a, it was like a, a horror film there. Don't tell you're scaring me. Oh, Mariam, are you trying to are you trying to change between the two? Is that what I'm seeing here? It's freaky. Gosh, girl, you gotta get that filter fixed before you go live. Laundry is so painstakingly boring. Tell us why we miss him. I will. He's not a mechanic now. He's not a cab driver. No, he's also a catfisher. So it's just it's just the grift. It's the circle of grift. She hangs out with other grifters. They grift. They come in here and they grift to you guys for money so they can continue a grift. They don't have any job. Their job is getting money out of you guys. That's their job. His job, sorry, let me back up. His job is getting money out of Miriam. Miriam's job is to get money out of you guys. Miriam has been quite successful at that and continues to con you all. There you go. That's it in a nutshell. Continue. Uh, what kind of coffees can I get? Pretty much any kind here. Good Lord, yeah, those filters are having a hard time today. I think, today. And I think it's that, TV, that, so that, that, that prayer girl. This TV, but... oh, okay. It's not plugged in right now because I don't ever see the lounge out here. <laughs> I'm always in my room. Thought that was a real fish. Excuse me. Well, it would be Excuse shopping. Me. Cat looks nothing to do with you. Hey, Oh, God. Uh, 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 uh. Excuse me. Watch out. Filter the pitch. Oh, God, that cat is spring up. Get her right there. Get her right there. Come on, Julia. Come on, Julia. Make it. Make it. Come on, Julia. Come on, Julia. You got it in you, girl. I know you can. I know you can. Jeez, what was that? Oh gosh, please don't do that to me. I can't take it. They don't pay your bills. Oh. Okay, then no mind. Yes. Oh Lord. I'm, sad. I'm just trying to be quiet. Huh. Well, whatever. She's trying not to wake her neighbors up next door, you know, because those walls could be potentially very thin in that apartment building. So, you know. She is being considerate to her neighbors. Well done, Shanta. Or Mariam. You're doing something. Maybe that's the only thing, because maybe they've filed complaints in the building about how loud you get when you're beezing. Mm, I'm behind. I can't, I don't think I can have ones on here. Nail it system is not good here. Do they have box mac and cheese? Box mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Yeah, but not craft. I are... No, I'm not depressed here. Any comments? <laughs> I really seem depressed. I'm just calm, I guess. Nope. Nobody's getting calm. Nobody's getting calm from you. You see? You're not reading the room, Chantal. Or Mariam. Read the room. <laughs> no, that's not true, Miss Miso. You can drive. You can live by yourself. Well, can you live by yourself? I don't know if you can live by yourself, actually. Oh, that's interesting. I don't know. I don't know. But you can drive. You can have your own. I, actually, I don't know. <laughs> Miss Miso, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure you can. I'm pretty sure you can. So, you have been in this country for an entire year, and you're not sure if you can drive that Timu car that you gave your husband, that he's out 
and now probably at some other place? Really? The level of your ignorance is sounds weird every time I hear it. Yeah. But I don't know. And now I know people are going to be like, she doesn't have her own bank account. But maybe I do. I just don't want, I'm trying to confuse people. What are you having? Are you having to your phone? No. <laughs> what? I'm going to go get a water. What time of the day do you have to pray? Um, it changes depending on the month and everything. But like Fajr today was 509. And then I think the next prayer is going to be after 11. I have to check my app. I have like alerts. The last one, Esha, finishes at like close to maybe 7 p.m. Close to that. All right, speed it up, girl. You're bored. Hi, okay, average and desirable. I mean, I need to explain something, but you just, yeah, the way does. you look at yourself. Yeah. You're bored. So I think he does. Hi, Green Graves. Julia Fuzzi at 3 a.m. here in the UK. Hi, Chris. It's okay. <laughs> Miriam Poppins. I'm in pain, Andrew. That's probably why I seem depressed, too. No, 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 no. You can't just catch it up with you, girl. That's why you're depressed. Because you, you're trying to figure out how you're going to make the next move in this con. And you lost your handle. And people aren't finding their way to your channel. You do want to get some of the people that would come to your channel naturally after this documentary goes out. And the difficulty is there's so many of us who are flooding YouTube to kind of take away from your channel that's now named Everyday Miriam. And with a handle called Ever Miriam. Or whatever it was. Because <laughs> you can't be bothered to spell check Ever Everyday Miriam. That's it. Everyday Miriam. Because you can't be bothered to spell check anything. Not even on something as important as that, which is your subscribers finding your channel. <laughs> or potentially. Other people who, out of curiosity from this documentary, start trying to find out more information about you. And the only thing they're going to find out is that you're a terrible human being. It's awesome. It's absolutely awesome. <laughs> Girl, you're getting majorly trolled. I don't think you can buy a house here, Wonder Loss. You can't like own anything, buy like land, stuff like that without Kuwaiti mainly owning it. That's why like Salah's a partner in the business because of that reason. Yeah, Mary, I'm up early for prayer. My God is praying on my leg. You ship Kuwait, makeup to Kuwait, it's expensive shipping, yeah. Tater talk casserole is good. I was watching some of your older videos and you just seemed a lot happier when you lived in Canada. I had this poll about There we go, here we go. She's gotta get up real close. You see, there's that squint face. That's the squint, that's the, the squint, because she's blind as a bat from the retinopathy. Um I guess just like, you know, being modest is also like about behavior. So I'm not like super like, I still, I do laugh, but like I'm more calm now, I guess. Like, I don't know. Would you be scared if you can't read the real time? I mean, I was depressed a lot in Canada too, for sure. <laughs> there you were. The, no, I was tight. In both English and Arabic. Yeah. What is sad about just sitting and talking to you guys, hacking the headlines? <laughs> Funny, I know women in here in the USA that don't have their own bank account. Really? That's true, yeah. But come on, women can own their own bank accounts here. For sure. Lance. Uh, for sure. Is that the research source that you use for all of your uh, knowledge? Hmm, okay. Sounds legit. My once, I haven't like, it's hard to talk about like it without talking about like what my status is because like getting established and getting all of these things takes a bit of time, but that's all I can say. I can't. What happens if they find out you're a fugitive from Canada? Because you haven't appeared in court for the Nada case coming up. Hmm. I wonder if that's on your mind. Are they are they requesting your presence in Canada at all? Or is that going to be suddenly a family visit? Huh. There's so much going on in your life uh, at this moment in time. It's hard to know. Definitely a visa run's going to need to come up at some point, though. She'll lie about that. I want to show the sunrise. Let me get some water and stuff. No mods, no media. Hello, Scrapeo. Hello. Velveeta cheese. It's very tangy. Cheese, I cheese. More cheese. Cheese, cheese. I had to cheese. Had to get surgery. Yeah, I probably have to. Oh, oh. It's your life. You're kind of. Oh. 
what's this about surgery? You're probably going to have to get surgery? And I'm confused too, because I thought we weren't going to talk about our personal details anymore. I, I'm so confused at this point. I, I suddenly realized 40 minutes into this garbage that this person said just probably six days ago, probably less. I don't know. It feels like a lifetime with this car analysis that she was supposed to be not putting out her personal details. And yet this is all we're getting is personal details. So I guess since you're talking about your personal details, we get the most of, out of it then, hey? So I have no empathy or compassion for you in uh, any case because you are a terrible human being. And if people don't like my roast, that's okay. These live streams, I get to roast them out of you. Just because you, you, these are nonsense. Yeah, they're boring too. God, hurry it up, girl. What have you got? 30 more minutes? Hurry this up. God, I'm going to let you play for a second. Ugh. It's just every time you speak, you just speak so much nonsense. i got to stop you and correct you. Well, at the end of the day, I know it's hard not to react, but you cannot win by fighting hate with hate. Um, you're right, sweaty, for sure. Yeah. Oh, hate with hate. Mm -hmm. Hi, Stacey, 3 a.m. Okay. Yep, yep. so sex here. No. Yep. I don't hate Chantel because that would actually invoke a strong emotion. I just like people who are con artists and scam other vulnerable individuals and who lie about health and are honest. That's what I dislike. Hate is far too strong of a word. That would involve me having an emotion about this person. Sorry, I didn't watch your old video. They like you now. Sad how other bad talk you. So I checked you now and you are very nice and I like you. Thank you, Lois. That, that's really awesome. Thanks for, you know, coming up with <laughs> I I have nothing that I need to say about that person. Whatever. You're entitled to your opinion. I disagree. With your own conclusions. Have you considered medication for impulsive obsessive thoughts? No. But probably needs some. It's nobody's business until you're banking. Oh, hold on. Chantel got to bank that. Impulsive, depressive thoughts. Impulsive, depressive thoughts. Okay, let me bank that in case I need that for the future. Okay, banked it. I think you're much calmer and content now. I didn't watch you before, but I've seen clips there, here and there, and for sure you're 100% blessed in your soul to be. Must have now. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, alhamdulillah for sure, Rebecca. Yeah, I agree. I mean, people don't have to that. People don't have being calm. I can't control how people think or what they think. Oh, my you know? mom. Did you have? Um, no, never. I don't ever think about that person ever. They're so out of my, my life, my and, and like, that's an absolute lie because we know or have suspicion that you and he are communicating with one another now because there's stuff that's going to be happening soon in Canada involving the crown justice system there. So you guys are definitely communicating. Shifty Eyes over here has just given herself away. But, yeah, she squirmed when she says it because she knows she's full of it. You're a bad liar. You're a really bad liar. My thoughts at all, period. Liar! No, I'm just being quiet. I'm in pain. Should I get something to eat? No. No, you're just, just a little bit uh, out of stanima, or whatever you call it. <laughs> Kill you. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, uh, watch out for the glitch. Uh, I can only control what you do. Uh, I mean, I try you were like that when you were dancing with the napkins. Uh-oh, is she going? Can I forward her? Good. Let me forward her up. She just walked away from her live stream. Oh, what's she coming back with? Water. Let's go look at the... Uh-oh, let's not. Let's not. Let's not. Oh, okay. You can't walk us down? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Careful, Chantel. You said I'm out of breath. Looking cute. Oh my goodness. It's very, um, fucky. Can't even see the ocean much. <sighs> I have nothing to say. You obviously never lived near water. And uh, I do have something to say about how out of breath 
you sound just getting out of a chair and moving across a room. Shameful. At your age, not even 40. All self-imposed. Because you made the choice to, to put that food in your pie hole, sweetheart. That was your choice. Nobody else's. You. And now you're rolling around that room in a chair. You can barely get out of that chair. And you, you're out of breath moving towards a window. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. It hurts to like, it's like a, a sharp pain in the leg. Oh, okay. 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 You know, you know, sorry, I know, my nursing assessment, fine, well then stretch it out, you know, you're not working with a physical therapist or anybody, so, no, sorry, you don't actually try to do anything to get better in reality, you eat garbage for three days in a row, so whoever's been trying to take care of you if something is legitimately going wrong with you, then you having just ate those mukbangs. You're just disrespectful to your health. So there's ways that you can actually fire patients if they're non-compliant. Should be first on to be fired list. Oh. Oh, let me smile while I get my con out here. Oh, oh you're laughing though. You're laughing. You're laughing because you're a con artist. I'm having a cheese slice. Oh, I'm what a shocker. A cheese slice. Oh, yeah. Let's let's wake the morning up with a piece of cholesterol with this piece of nonsense processed garbage I'm about to stick in my pie hole. Let's go. Let's go. I'm sure she's not on a statin. No. I don't know. Let me milk the let me milk the oh. Thanks, Kelly Pickles. I'm already mad. Because. Let me make sure I talk with my mouth full because I'm like that. Oh God, don't smell it. We don't want to see you smelling the cheese, girl. Make your stomach bolt. A nasty human being. Oh, sciatica. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. The sciatica has made a remarkable return suddenly. But I thought it was just in remission the other day. How can how how is it possible that you are the only person in the world that has sciatica that goes in and out and of supposedly what you are now terming remission? The only hope that you have is that your audience is as uneducated in medicine as you are. They anybody who has sciatica knows that you're full of garbage. They just are somehow, I don't know, drawn into a cult, I guess, because there's no logical explanation as to why anybody should believe that's how sciatica goes. God. You're not working with any physical therapist. They wouldn't be giving you a B12 for sciatica. That's more for neuropathy. You're just full of it. You're a lying, lying medical con artist this is my story about a medical con artist her name is Chantal Marie Serol and she likes to tell lies and she likes to tell lies about her health and she likes to do it to get money and to go on a sympathy and to con people on YouTube that's what this person does that's what she does Homer Simpson when he eats American cheese early in the morning I'm not gonna eat those. Yes, you are. Absolute lie. You're about to eat the whole entire packet. You're about to have a B moment right off this camera. There's no other reason why you brought an entire bag of chips with you otherwise, girl, or crisps or whatever you want to call them. There's no other reason other than you're about to annihilate. This is how you wake up and nourish your body first thing in the morning. A sip of water, maybe, because you got that polydipsia going on. That means you're on the drink a lot, okay? I'll just explain it to you. 
because I know you don't know what that means because you're uneducated. You've got the processed cheese because you've got to have cheese. You just can't keep away from that cheese. And then you've got a bag of processed chips or crisps, as I would call them. That's your, that's your breakfast of champions. No wonder you look like this. That's why you look like this. And I have no sympathy for this. Not when you eat that. That is your choices. And you do that. And you think you're going to feel good and wake up. The rest of us would be down there running along that beach. But no, no. You're staring out a window, grunting. Maybe I should fast. I swear. Just stop the nonsense. Really, Patty? Hi, Sanella. Hi, Chantel. I need an apple. I have an orange. I don't have apples. Shouldn't be eating an orange. That's the worst type of blood sugar food to eat for a diabetic. But what the heck for you know? Because you know nothing about anything to do with managing your diabetes. So you would be better off, actually, with the apple than the orange. The orange is going to probably spike your blood sugars up a little bit too high, girl. That's what we give people when they're in hypoglycemia, is orange juice. So, of course, you don't know that because you know nothing about diabetes. Because you are about as bright as a bulb that has gone out about 15 years ago. Here, what's going on with the con? Or whatever this is, melatonin. Stretches really do help. No fasting. I mean, what about autophagy? Apparently, it can heal nerve damage. But it's hard to fast. You know nerve damage? Is this the story you're trying to sell everybody? Nerve damage? Okay. Neuropathy. Maybe a lost toe. Like obsessed with food. <laughs> That's the surgery, isn't it? That's the surgery. That's the surgery to amputate that toe. I knew it. <laughs> Is that why we'll never see your toes on the scale again? Chantel, I'll send you a hundred dollars if I if I see you full hijab with a newspaper in your hand with the date on it. And and I want to see it waved in front of all ten of your toes. And I want to see you full length on that scale. I want to see every part and I want it to come out and then. I want the person to come back from you and I want them to pan down and I want to see all 10 of your toes. <laughs> I want to see what your toes look like. <laughs> Ew. There's like stringy things. Oh no, this has seeds in it. Actually, I shouldn't say ooh to any food. Be thankful. <laughs> You're not thankful for anything. It's a symptom. Oh, hi, Walrus. Yeah. Nope, there goes the blood sugars. Oh, great, Floyd. Blood okay, sugars guys. are getting higher. Yeah, good job. That'll make her feel worse. I'm just getting um, injections. Oh, okay. Like vitamin injections. Oh, <laughs> these B12 injections for the neuropathy, I guess. Okay, all right. And then maybe a toe amputation? <laughs> No, or no way. You might be. <laughs> Welcome. Is it weird to you that I'm in Kuwait now? <laughs> yes. I know, Sanella. I believe in the power of fasting, like for healing, though. It's just hard. Oh, God. Hurry up and eat that orange. It's gross watching you eat. God, and watch you spit those orange. seeds out. You're so nasty. You're really nasty. You don't even have a napkin in front of your mouth when you do that. To help my blood sugar levels, they go down. No, they don't. You're a liar. You're an absolute just. You have no clue. No, absolutely, that is not what's happening. Oh God, stop lying to your audience, girl. You have no idea what's going on. God. All power to do it. Hi, Nick. Thank you, Eclipsa. Uh, Lifestyle changes for sure. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, I know. Uh, nothing weight. will change. I'll continue the con and sit here and eat myself. Injection. That's my Karma attack. 
I, I saw that you were a mod and I don't know who you are. Did you change your name? I was like, I don't know who that is. So I panicked and I modded you, but if you tell me who you were, <laughs> it should be. What a shocker! Chantel does not even know who her moderators are. What? That's so poor with your brand, sweetheart. Your brand is to be fucking clueless, destroy your health, and be a con artist. So you're on brand. Keep going on brand. Dear. Well, maybe this I... nonsense up. Gosh, dang it. You're slow and boring. You really are boring, girl. Call me either one. It doesn't matter. Whatever you want. But you're just a con artist. I'm what? You're a boring con artist. Hmm. Oh, gross. Oh, really, Nor? Nice. How much does your feed of fetish friend pay yeah, for the orange display? It does. Like, I wake up and it's not there. How much does that give for on long? Like, sitting too long? I, I have a question. I need to know, Chantel. How much does your feeder fetish friend pay to have you eat that orange and spit those seeds out in your hand like that? Because it's gross to me. How much, they, how much is that? How much is that served? Do pray tell. Standing too long, doing housework, the pain comes back, and then I have to lay down in bed. <laughs> okay, okay. Rinse, repeat, fantasy, and head. Get rid of it. Why am I eating things? Yeah, it's so rude. I've been on those dump it. Steroids, like blood sugar, I heard that. Really, JV, go? Go sit on the bucket in here. Yeah, she dumbass. <laughs> you know nothing. You know absolutely nothing. God. Ooh. my kind spirit. Oh, thanks, Lois. You're kind too. It's hard to be good all the time. Hard to be good even a little bit of the time with food. Uh, she just said the quiet part out loud. We know you can't be good any of the time, Chantel, whether it be food, personal relationships, how you manage anything with your platform, nothing. Just nothing. Hurry it up, girl. What more 18 minutes of nonsense do you have to talk about? God dang it. For me? Half of a day of fighting impulses to just eat whatever's in sight feels like a year. Okay. All right. Stop trauma dumping your audience. They're not your therapist. They don't care to be your therapist. They're not paid to be your therapist. This is something that you have to talk with a therapist. Okay? Stop the trauma dumping, girl. You're exhausting. You really are exhausting. That sucks. Okay, Weber. No, no, I was good. Eres bien huevona. But it's not like... I never knew that overeating is bad, you know? Okay. It's dangerous. Oh, pinche mujer. Tantas mentirosas. Te digas. That's for my, 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 my Mexican friends. I hope my Spanish is not too terrible. Better than her Arabic, and I haven't lived in Mexico in like 20 years. Girl, I can't. I tell you, I'm older than you all. By about 14 years, 15 years actually this year. And I knew what healthy food was and what healthy food was not. So to say you did not know what the difference was is a bold faced bloody lie. You're just lazy. Everything about you is lazy. That's why you look like a lazy human being. You, everything, it just, it's from the inside out. It's just who you are intrinsically, girl. Stop lying. You're never going to change. You're just going to eat yourself to a grave. Just hard not to do it. And I'm here for the train wreck. The jumping shrimps. Gross. Oh. The animals. I hate you for it. Thank you. I, I do hate you for it. Okay. There that is a strong emotion. When it comes to the animals, <laughs> Sorry, Crystal. I do hate you. Thank you, sweetie. For I will time. say that. Because you use food as a coping mechanism. You started as a child. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Coping mechanism. That is my childhood. <laughs> How can I milk everybody? Nobody gives a shit. Shut the fuck up. Go to my fridge. I've always been comforted with food like my whole life. You know? Part of the con. She's conning you. I'll stay hopeful. I don't care. 
I'm starting to have like a lack of sympathy for these folks in some ways because they don't try to help themselves enough. When you help yourself, I have sympathy. When you just slovenly go on like Chantel, then no. Quince, quince, get gloss on. Put your gloss on. I could get an amount of weight at first because I would just do that, but I had like a schedule. Like I would eat breakfast, then a snack, then lunch, then dinner. So you don't have a schedule. You just get up and eat all day. Just eat all day. There's no schedule to that. Oh, Lord. What a liar. It's satisfied. But being now that, like, I can't do much. You know, you have all the time to just, like, think about food. Well, the reason you can't do much is because you ate yourself this way. i got no sympathy for you. Everyone's been telling you for years that you need to stop eating like this. And you're still eating like this, sitting there with a bag of chips on the side, because that's really what you want to be eating, not the orange. That's spiking your blood sugars. You're a moron. I could never go to a huge park and walk. Maybe if I sat, but oh, I need like pain management for sure. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, of course I need pain management. No, you need to lose weight. You need to lose weight. Every problem, every part of your body, Every reason that you've got going on is because of your weight. Plain and simple. And I know people don't like hearing it. But there's so many different diseases that are caused due to obesity and what happens to the body in that pathological process. And it's as much as people want to talk about health at any size and body positivity, and it's should be that we should not discriminate against people because of their size. But people should also be educated to understand that there isn't always health at every size in such a fair way. That you are setting yourself when you're eating as much processed garbage nonsense as this individual is and having very severe health consequences. And she's just the living picture of it. And at this time, since she is just a burden to everybody around her, I just use her as an example of what you should not do. She's very cruel to animals. She is cruel to other people. She has a lack of remorse. And so she is a good example that we can use of what you should not do to your health. To have any sympathy for this person's health after she has ate herself into this situation should be abstained, in my opinion. She doesn't deserve it. She deserves no sympathy from anybody, not a living soul. Yeah, for sure, this stuff I know. He's on a way now, I know. I would help you get over your food addiction. Ugh. A lot of time and work. No, you've done no work and you spend no time on it. Because there are all people who actually seriously do and who are genuinely good souls and have fought it and have come through it. You just use it to use people. You don't give a flying monkey's butt about it and you're using it with this audience now. That's why you're shameful. That's why I don't mind roasting you. I don't care. Don't bother me. Good morning, out of dining. I haven't had any wine in beets, and the doctor said I can't have any. I'm pharmacist said, Oh, good for you, though. Food is comfort. <laughs> Thank you, Rebecca. Just go. Just go. Actually, right now, it's just, let's just hunger. Like, I haven't had breakfast, so. And I'm kind of in pain to, like, stand there and make, like, eggs or something, so. I'm just eating out of actual hunger this time. Could you, you know what? Why don't you wake up that husband in the bedroom and let him know that you are very hungry? And you need to have good nutrition so that you can heal from whatever mysterious leg ailment you've got going on there, girl. Or you just are so respectful as a wife, you wouldn't dare to wake him. Oh, but I thought he was there next to your side, just doing everything for you. You're just so full of it. Gosh, darn it, girl. Just quiet it out. I'm just ready to get you off the internet here, at least you two. And then we'll see what other platforms you then try to finagle. I think, isn't it, you went to Twitch or some other places, but you just don't make the money there. 
you actually have to have good content. And girl, you'd never make it on Instagram. But you could be a hot mess on TikTok. But it's hard to make money there. Taylor Hood. I get the people memberships and no thank you. Where, Patty? Right now? Oh no, you did before. Thank you so much. Yeah, I said thank you. I really appreciate that. Diamond, they don't prescribe strong drugs here. Um yeah, and you've tried it about every clinic in about a 20 mile radius of that house. God, look, I need to have the coldest water ever. Yeah. <laughs> My fridge is stuck with cold water. Mm, that's like a pica thing going on, girl. And I can't drink the tap water is not really drinkable. And I don't like our filtered water, it's still salty. So I drink bottled water. But you can get a six pack of each bottle. Of 1.5 liters like these are not these are not, nobody really cares nice. that's get, boring nobody lives there to buy it all of these for like and water is so cheap here okay whatever bottle of water terrible waste of the environment it's 20 break. spent I'm 20 oh, no i'm just in pain hi vanessa oh, from what sitting on your tush all day eating yourself into the situation what could you be in pain from? Oh, how can anybody have sympathy for somebody who just ate themselves to this oblivious state? I don't. I have zero sympathy now. She's a drain on the healthcare system. She's exhausting, actually. You know, and people be like, oh, you're, you're, you're a registered nurse, right? Why, why no sympathy? Because of this. Because of this. Because of the lack of care. She's never going to care. She'd rather use it as a way to garner money. She tried once and she just didn't like it. She didn't want to have that. She wants to eat. She's a glutton. She wants to eat whatever she wants. She wants to address her problems. She's got issues. She really has some issues. So anybody who's like feeling like she's their backsaw sister with them, I feel sad because this is just a con artist. I wasn't even here. I don't even know that I was gifted. I thought you had to be in the stream at the time. Oh, Bethany, hi. Yeah, that's weird, eh, Bethany? Snack on veggies. Thanks, Patty Pickles. Thank you for gifting the memberships. It really means a lot. For everyone who did, for sure. I appreciate that. Yeah, you have nothing after seven years of being on YouTube that kind of celebrates them. What, what happened to the ha dancing hamburgers? Oh, that's gone away? Wow, girl, your like, situation is looking like grim. What the heck is going on in there? Can you hear your little freaking nature? Come. The freaking nature is the one talking. Oh. What are you doing? Ugh. Oh, a poor cat. I'm being held hostage. Help. She's trying to say help with her eyes. Fishy, fishy. So we're, we're coming to get you, Julia. We're trying. We're trying. Come or no. She's just yeah, hard to get Julia through. Because he sleeps like a bird, but then he, I swear he was like, maybe like. Girl, know, the sun like, coming up. Aren't you supposed to be out walking on the beach? Yeah, they sell a lot of sweets here. Yeah, you've ate and tried all of them. We're really punishing yourself doesn't help with eating disorders. It's an issue with your thought process. Look at that camera straight. Yeah, stressing and obsessing is. I guess that would be in the little box. No, never have I ever. You aren't. I comfort watch you. I only watch you when I was pregnant. Green grapes. Oh, really? Oh, thank you. Soup for me now, sending Yorkshire puddings. <laughs> Good night, Grace. Thanks for being here. Yeah, and the curtains. I like the colors too. They're different, huh? Nobody likes the color of this curtain, so. Yes, well, not always, Elizabeth. You made that comment up. Maybe I didn't give it enough of a try, but I was in therapy, even outpatient eating disorder therapy. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, what outpatient eating disorder therapy are you going to get? <laughs> the type of personality disorder I suspect that you have would mean that you would never. You are very difficult to manage medically, uh, both medically for health and medically for mental. If it's the type of personality disorder and from all the information that you have documented for seven years online and the stories and so forth, it's probably pretty accurate for who you are. And uh, yes, I am a healthcare professional. And yes, I would then refer you to mental health services because otherwise, I wouldn't be able to help treat you with your diabetes, which is what the problem is for these poor doctors out here in Kuwait, is that nobody's ever going to be able to help you treat your diabetes because of the type of personality disorders that you have. It's 
going to be an impossible task. And it's very difficult to even manage the mental health disorder I think you have. So it, you're kind of, you know, unfortunately your uh, prognosis is not good, Chantal. Um, and you may not live very long because from the eating, that is. And diabetes yeah. and heart disease. Mac and, cheese and potential coffee. strokes and kidney pain. No, not lonely at all. <laughs> I don't get lonely. Oh, and the diabetic retinopathy is going to lead you to be blind. It's just my husband and my pet. And the toes are going to be soon amputated. Sometimes, like when he goes out for the only I do have some kind of wellness loss on the Time alone? That's all you have in that apartment, girl, is time alone. That's all you are is alone. Alone and then you stream or eat. That cat don't even want to be around you, girl. That cat's trying to escape. Cat's yeah. like, oh my god, get me out of here! Get me out! It's gonna look at Cat wants back on the streets, girl. She'd rather be on the streets. She's like, look, that's the mad tail. Ooh, that kitty angry. Ooh, that's angry kitty tail, girl. She pissed at you. She doesn't want to be in the house anymore. She wants to be outside with her friends. She wanna be with you. What is doing? What is her first doing? What are you doing? Go away. Go away. She, meow, I wish she would just get you. Hamster? Yeah, next live stream. He's in the other room. Yeah, you never get the hamster out. I wanna see how What are you doing? <laughs> what do you do? What do you do? Hey? Oh. Hi. Oh, poor cat. Oh, I'm sorry, Julia. I'm sorry. Did you make a lot of money? I'm you see that sorry. Oh, that's a pleasant view. Excuse it's me. like a parking lot Excuse for me. a sanitation company. <laughs> Thanks, Anna G. You wouldn't be surprised. I thought we were going to talk about it. Yeah, whatever, I guess. That's a terrible looking <laughs> view, man. I'm talking about the rock. That looks like a bad part of town. Yeah, in April. People working down here. Mm, bus stop. Oh, those buses look at take that people to trash work. down like, there. And then they bring oh. them back. You need to show this only at night. Is that? I don't want to see yeah. that parking lot. That's not attractive. I think there's a little store. Why are you showing the ugliest parts of Kuwait? She's purring. Yes. Oh my gosh, that's just, no. Wow. Yeah, it's really nice here, Chris, uh, Crystal. That's nice. Oh, like, I mean, I don't want to be harsh. I know the beach is nice, but that view of that parking lot isn't. No, I don't think we're going to go this year. Maybe not. I don't know. It depends how I feel. Uh oh, girl. Careful. Uh oh, she watch out. Oh, hey, rosacea is really coming oh, up from that CPAP. Don't bite your money. You're going to bite your mom. Oh, well, you got the CPAP marks are, are raging you on your, your face, money. girl. Where's daddy? Let's go harass daddy. Do daddy is in no the hookah way. lounge somewhere. You should do a vlog of your trip to the clinic. If I could, I guess. Thanks, Karma Tax. Yeah, Can I do grapes? Oh, yeah, I'm in pain. See that mark's a rough girl. Oh, oh. Uh, that hurts me. Oh, anyway. girl, you need to get your teeth cleaned. I see. I see that. Hold on. Oh, oh, that's rough. Uh oh. Can't ask her until the move to. Oh, 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 no. What's that? Kimberly, 10 30 p.m. Oh, I have like pain, I have like anti inflammatories, which don't mean very much. Anti inflammatories, I can go outside by myself. Yeah, which way are you going? That was nerve. You got a nerve that's being inflamed. Oh, is this sciatica nonsense again that suddenly popped back out of remission? Oh, gosh. Look at that. That's, 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 that's her. She just, you know, she's still got filters. Remember that. This is still her with filters. So if you think this looks rough, she still has filters. I never do, but I could if I wanted to. Anyways, I'm going to go soon because oh, I need to lie down. Oh, the corona on live. Daphne, 
Sorry guys, I'm just having like a flare up. So maybe I did too much. Because last night I was Um <clears throat> That's a perfect pause face for you, girl. That's like almost like Jack Nicholson eyes from The Shining. What do you mean you did a lot? You don't know what did a lot is. Did a lot. Oh, jeez. Okay, continue with your lie of a story. What did you do that was so much? I was like, that's it. Thanks, Evan Jeff. Thanks, Bethany. Three, three, three. Ooh. What, what is that? What did you do? You moved from the from the chair to the window back to the chair? And harassed the cat? That's doing too much? If you had sciatica, which you claim to have, the recommendation is to keep moving past the pain. So about a minute, and you didn't even amble late for about 30 seconds. See her beating? Pathetic. No, oh, your hands look swollen. Shocker. Swollen hands. That must be that infamous really? weight. I'm gonna ask the doctor today. Why? Why ask the doctor? You don't listen to him. Ooh, look at that smug face. You don't listen to the doctor. So what are you going to ask him? For pain medication? You know what they're going to tell you? You need to lose weight. That's what they're going to tell you. You need to change your diet and lose weight. Nobody wants to give somebody who's obviously causing the pain, which is probably because of the weight, a medication that's going to make you less active. Because you need to be eating a correct diet and exercising, which is supposed to be adjunct to the diabetes medications that you're taking. But since you don't care about yourself and you only care to make money and eat food, then it doesn't matter. You don't follow anything. So you don't do anything to help yourself. So what the doctor going to do for you, sweetheart? What the doctor going to do for you? You can't hold a gun to your head and tell you to, to lose weight. you got to do that on your own, sweetheart. But you have no willpower because you much rather eat this fast food and heavy carbs and bread roll size soup bowls. Or soup bowls that look like bread rolls inside the loaf. Hurry up, you got five minutes before me. Thank you. I want to get this wrapped up. You guys too. All right. All right, whatever. I have no empathy. I have no sympathy either. And that's all from a nurse to say. With you, I have no sympathy. Advil helps. Why, please? I don't think they have gabapentin here. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, because gabapentin is actually almost like a controlled substance now, sweetheart. And they don't want you abusing gabapentin. Yeah. Oh, you're having a really hard time over there, aren't you? Because you'd love to be hitting up some ERs in Canada at the moment, trying to hit them up for pain medications. Hopefully they've wised up to just giving any old roly-poly rolls in there who obviously uh, there's a cause for that uh, pain. And it's you. That's why I've been live streaming in bed, you know. Hello, I don't ever sit on the sofa because getting up is hard, yeah. You can roll off. Yeah. I thought you were rolling off. Really, Santa Canada? Okay, anyway. I'm not down oh, oh, yeah. I haven't it's received not enough money yet. Really so I've got to really play it up. As a no no, it's very hard to get. Hi, I'm swept. Yeah, I'm okay. I'll be okay. It's not like I'm bearable, but it's painful. Yeah, hold on, guys. Thanks for being here. Yeah, oh, this is so bad because I don't think I made much in super chats or super thanks. Let me try to milk this just a little bit more in case I can get 50 yeah. bucks to roll in at the end. No, she's not. To go sit on her right. on that couch. I'll talk to my doctor later. Oh, we we'll see what the reaction channels are saying about her. Um, Sorry. Yeah. Let's see what they say. Mm, okay. You can't get pain meds even so. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Let me see what they say. Mm, mm. Well, um, um, but yeah, but they're gonna say I can't get pain meds, and the only thing I want to do is get pain meds because I just want to get high and eat myself stupid a little bit more. That's what I'm after. I'm just after a, a really good, you know, yeah, Percocet, Percocet, Percocet really gives you an appetite. Mm, maybe I can get some Percocets. Mm, perkies, perkies. 
They gave me um, an injection, but I don't. They didn't prescribe anything. I'm gonna ask. Ice packs. Yeah. Yeah, and they're gonna tell you that you need physical therapy and to change your diet. So, and your toe needs amputated. So that's probably what they're gonna tell you. Let's continue. Yes. Go border hop and get some good stuff like in Mexico antibiotics and things. I wish I had something strong actually. But yeah, you do. You absolutely do. Yeah, you do. Look at that. Oh, really? Oh, I thought you just prayed. I thought you were this virtuous Muslim revert. I know that my friends who are Muslims, they would never mention about wanting something strong like a controlled narcotic. In fact, they may even hesitate to take something like that. But you are just full force for it, aren't you, girl? Hmm, just a little bit of the old Chantel slipping out there. Hmm, lovely to see her again. Lovely to see you. Glad to see you're back, foodie. I don't know if that's a good idea either because I'm an addict, right? So. Yes, you are. You're an addict. I'm cold compress, yes. Actually, I'm going to try that now. Thank yes, you're an addict. I think it's good for everything. Not a good idea. Yeah, that's true. And, and vitamin, but the only vitamin real vitamin. thing you said. I think I overdid it with like, you know, vacuuming and cleaning too much. I keep feeling. <laughs> yeah, pull the other one, sweetheart. It's got bells on it, as we say in England. Like, I hate it. I don't like it. Yeah. Thanks, guys, for listening and the suggestions and the stuff. The tent machine. Yeah, I heard about those. Uh yeah, tens machines got to be prescribed by a doctor. There is some potential evidence that it can kind of help with reduction of pain, um, but you know it's it's got to be used in conjunction with other treatment modalities, and it's not really something that would just be on its own like that. Yeah, probably not going to fix whatever this one got going on. It will go away. No, it won't. Yeah, I have the Quran in English too. If it's a uh, translated. Yeah, we gotta get it under control. Get a housekeeper. I might have to. Don't know. Hmm. We'll oh well. Wow. Sitting is the worst. I know. When's left? Ugh. There's no, there's no guidance. I know. Tell me about it. I've had to get up five times. All right, guys. Thank you. Stop and pulse this stuff. And I'm gonna go rest. Yeah. I'll see you guys in the next. Uh... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, she'll be boring us again very soon. So anyway, all right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed Chantel's, you know, usual just the Jesus nonsense that she had tonight. Um, if you like this type of content and you like the fact that I just do these roast of her live streams uh, and try to keep it quick, try to keep it funny, though so it's still two hours and abbreviated it for you, then you're welcome. All right. Okay, everybody. Have a great day. Bye.